Congratulations to the luxury community. We are doing it. We are finally putting these brands in their places. Under consumption is now trending. Let's talk about it. So a lot of people have recently started waking up to the fact that we're overpaying for basically everything and it's making everyone broke and we're all tired of it. And Gen Z is the ones especially embracing this trend called underconsumption core. So I wanted to talk a little bit about it. First, when it comes to young people, they're actually taking pride in stopping shopping sprees, stopping hauls, trying to change the culture of social media. Gen Z wants to be the generation that embraces underconsumption, but I do think it's still a little bit strange that there's a lot of TikTok sprees and shopping hauls on that platform and people are sort of buying a lot of the same products and cluttering up their space and it's leading to their overspending in maybe like one category or one kind of product, like whether it's lipstick or perfume, and that's their focus. It's still leading to the end result of consuming in another area, even as you're trying to under consume in like the other labeled area that you were previously spending a lot of money in, for example, could be bags or shoes. So that's just something to be careful of. The next is it says that inflation is inspiring under consumption on social media so bragging that you're not being influenced is now a thing and i think that's a little bit weird i think what we should be just talking about you guys is are you even ready to stop working like are you financially prepared to stop wor working or are you consuming and over consuming so much that you're just worrying about the next thing still or the next thing that's coming or are you just following influencers around and just buying everything that they're buying that's just something interesting where the social media culture is now fighting against itself and so is luxury it's like people don't want to be influenced anymore i for one am not allowing myself to be influenced by celebrities because we all know that celebrities are as broke as the next person they are regular joe smokes a lot of people are starting to wake up to that same thing for luxury with dior bags costing really $57 to make, under $100 to make, but really people are spending over $2,000, over thousands and thousands of dollars for these bags. So we're also getting tired of the bragging, you know, it's not a flex to just continue almost throwing your money away. It feels like to a lot of people now. And I think a lot of people are really still searching for the right products to buy and are willing to spend the money as long as the quality is there and there is um, backing by that brand to support their claim. Should they wish to return it? Should it need repairs? I think a lot of things that luxury will have to do now that people are under consuming is step up their standards, go back to having really high standards without increasing prices so the next point that i want to talk about so when i think about underconsumption, i want to break this yeah. down to about three overall main points well the first point is prices like let's just start talking right there about how luxury prices are just incongruent to what's going on and we've seen this happening with dior we've seen this happening even like spreading into louis vuitton where the leather goods are are definitely higher quality but the price points are definitely much higher as well than canvas and it does make me wonder whether or not we are soon to see canvas start to be phased out because in my opinion when i'm talking about under consumption this is a thing i'm looking at the higher quality even though they're higher priced but they're better quality leather pieces soft leather pieces over some of the canvas pieces that are coming out or even over some of the other leather options like the arm prawn etc too times are hard power to the people for taking control of your finances taking pauses taking breaks i've been one of them <laughs> buying bags selling bags i've been one of them i've been doing my own purge i think a lot of us our mindsets are just fully embracing having a life of ease whether that just be financially feeling stable and free when i think of my lifestyle luxury to me my mindset is look it's got to be peaceful calm 
I can't be stressed about these purchases. I can't have any anxiety about my finances. And they have to be comfortable. It's got to be good quality, but it's got to be comfortable. Like if I'm going to pay these prices, I really need to be able to enjoy the pieces that I'm using. So I recently returned a couple pairs of shoes to Louis Vuitton because one was hurting me at the top of my arch so bad. I thought I could break it in. I thought, you know, it's going to loosen up. But then I said to myself, why do I have to loosen you up? Louis Vuitton, why isn't it comfortable? Okay, for $1,030, I don't just, just, no, I don't have time for that. And then the other was the flat form Maya sandals I returned. The first was like the loose sneakers. I really thought they were pretty, but I really think I would prefer a closed back on those shoes in a different color so that I don't have to worry about dirt. Maya flat form, I said, you know, I'm already a tall girly and I'm just getting older and I'm clumsy. I do not need to fall down and tumble down on these cute shoes. That would not be cute at all. So I just said no. So anyway, I think that the changing stance in the luxury community is normal. It's not even something that I would say, guys, we should call a trend. I think this should just be the norm, the mindset. And so listen to this. It says the trend of underconsumption core romanticizes buying and using only what you need yes being normal is now trending experts say it's a response to a period of economic hardship i hate the way that sounds because what underconsumption means to me is we're actually downsizing our lifestyle because we're trying to renormalize ourselves to the changing phases in our lives and that makes a lot of sense when i was 20 i was buying big bags i was carrying lots of books and notebooks and everything around with me. I had no children. When I was 30, I started to have children. I sold some of my big bags. I bought a lot of crossbody bags that at the time were really great everyday uses for me to carry for things for myself and for them. And now that I'm in my 40s, it's all about the mediums to small size bags for me. It's all about the essential carrying bags for me. I'm not carrying things for anybody anymore except for me. So everybody needs to be helping themselves as they grow and mature here because mommy duties is like, we're changing what that what mommy duties look like now that I'm getting older. I just wanted to talk about a little bit the people, you know, we've talked about content creators like Nikki Sky, right? Who came out with a message that I think a lot of people reacted to um, because she was at a point in her life where she felt like, buying luxury bags now that she had had children she held she had somehow become more conscious and aware of like everything life has to offer centered around having kids and i have kids so i'm not saying you don't get some sort of realization when you have kids but i'm not selling all my luxury bags because i also know that eventually i came back to using them like i used canvas bags that when things spilled on them i didn't cry and scream about it i was able to just wipe it down you know and there was nothing to do about much ado about nothing if it got sticky from kids hands being all over it and i made sure that it wasn't any azor pieces it was the natural brown monogram so what did i care i was still carrying my bags and now i'm carrying these bags and they're just getting older in fact they know not to touch my bags or they know to be sensitive and gentle with the bags or my daughter will tell me she likes my bag i think that's great so they are normalized to my everyday lifestyle but i can understand why other people feel like you know, I just don't want to spend money in this way right now or anymore or whatever they're reason. Moving on to Caitlin Pulowski. I like her. She used to be in the luxury community before she sort of moved on to commentary around different trending topics, everyday topics. But she still has some luxury bags in her collection and things like that. And every now and then she'll pop up talking about luxury. Well, she is someone who basically said she's come to a realization that her luxury addiction was no longer serving her. And she's sort of not like in that circle of buying and spending and selling luxury bags, etc. I applaud her for that because she said she's a younger generation. So that's not really where she wanted to spend the future amount of time that she had left. So she had already spent 10 years talking about bags. I think when we talk about people like 
Nikki Sky, who recently came out with a message that she was selling all her bags, you know, selling all her sh shoes, her luxury bags and things because she recently had children. Um, a lot of people took that the wrong way, but the way that I took it was basically she had um, a life event that sort of changed her mindset and made her realize that there were different priorities that she wanted to focus on in her life. Not that those things are the most important things in all of our lives, in everyone's life, just in her life. And yeah, I do think that a lot of people were thrown by the fact that she's a large uh, content creator, a large YouTuber. And was this some message that she was putting out to all of us to sort of follow her down her under consumption path? I think a lot of people, it sort of turned them off. Like, no, I'm in a good place. And, you know, whatever conscious awakening you've had, I don't need. I'm good. It was very interesting. The next person that I also found to be interesting when it comes to sort of like under consumption is Caitlin Pawlowski. And I really like Caitlyn and the way that she tells her. And so the next person is Caitlyn Pawlowski. I don't really know her. I know that she does, she used to be in luxury and now she does commentary around what's trending. And that at one point she found herself to be addicted to spending and addicted to luxury. And then one day she woke up and found that you know that just wasn't the life for her anymore and more power to her you know like if that's what happens to any of us more power to you that's what happened to nikki scott so caitlin you know she started to talk a little bit about her transition out of luxury and and her changes behind the scenes and what she wanted to do to empower herself and her audience in order to break free as well so i think that was pretty cool and she still has luxury in her closet she just doesn't talk about like the hauls and the things that the way that she used to so i think that's also like finding balance which is normal like let's normalize finding balance again in how we live our lives like there's definitely nothing wrong with buying things but like just let's not romanticize the anymore this lifestyle of spending freely and frivolously if you don't have it because we know a lot of people don't have it and it's just not sexy to flex like that anymore it's just not cool you know to pretend like it's the whole facade thing of pretending that you have it if you don't isn't cool so i also feel like that leads me to this last and final point around just dupes like if you're buying less of the real thing, it should not be normal. I'm not normalizing to then go and buy the dupe thing. What I'm normalizing is under consuming for myself, which means I don't want the fake, but I also am going to be much more selective of the real because I have a set amount of money that I want to see going out. And that's that. I have these other priorities and I'm not going to be swayed by what everybody else is doing with the fact that um, whatever new it bag is trending, like the the Louis Vuitton for all speedies. If you can't afford a 10,000, 11,000, 12,000 dollar bag, don't go out there and buy the dupe for $3,000 because most likely you can't afford the dupe either. And don't go out there and buy the Dior $2,800 or $5,000 bag if if you don't want to look at it and know that you really have like a $100 bag on your arm. Like just bypass, start learning to bypass. So something that others are learning to do in the luxury community. I've been watching Jessie Style for a little bit on her luxury journey this year in 2024, talking a little bit about easing back on buying and some of the struggles in buying. And I'll definitely link these people's channels below. I definitely think they're all lovely people. Go and check them out, follow them, subscribe. Um, but I, I like Jessie's, I like how she talks to sort of about her, the journey that she is taking because she's also interested in buying good quality items if they pop up on the screen for her or if they're just coming down the road she's been prioritizing paying for the right things that give her joy as well 
and I feel like yeah like another good example of under consuming um so I just think you know is this like a new trend for all of us in luxury what do you think if you're following my channel then I hope you continue to like and subscribe and follow me for more go over on Instagram and TikTok and follow me there but I thought that this was an interesting topic to talk about because I find a lot of us in luxury are feeling this way but we probably weren't sure how to verbalize that we were feeling this way so if you're feeling like you are one of the trendsetters I think that's what I'm calling us we're going to set trends over here and we're not going to follow them I'm sorry I can't follow all the trends but if I like something I like it and sometimes you want to see me come out with things that other people aren't going to like but number one trendsetter rule is we are going to do what's best for us we're going to live the lives that we desire so we're going to maximize our lives all right so secure your bags secure your coins and if you like this message please watch my next video and please continue following and subscribing i'll catch you in the next one